Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Leisha. I am a local wreath maker in Indianapolis, Indiana. I am going to show you how to make a super, super easy table swag, which you could hang up if you wanted to, but I'm doing it as a table swag using a five gallon stir stick that you can find at your local hardware store. Now I do have another video um, here on my channel making one uh, this past Christmas, but something is going on with the sound and so I wanted to make a new few things that you'll need. So the first one is that stir stick we were talking about. Now again, uh, I wanna say these were, I don't know, less than $2 for a three pack. This is how they came. There's three of them, super inexpensive. You're just gonna need one. You're gonna need some pipe cleaners. You can use whatever color. I'm using black because that's what I have. You'll need one roll of 10 inch deco mesh. I've got my bow maker here in case we decide to get a little fancy and put some bows on it. Then you're gonna need your ribbon. I'm using four different ribbons. Two of them are the two and a half inch. Look how cute that is. So we're coming up on fall and Thanksgiving, Halloween. Um, so I wanna make this to where you can use it for all of those, not necessarily just Halloween with the orange and black. Then we have a black and kind of off-white, a basic orange, and then a black and white polka dot because you gotta have a little fun. You'll also need a hot glue gun. This is my Sherbonder dual temp hot glue gun, one of my faves. And because I'm feeling a little fancy, we're gonna add some pumpkins. I have all of these beautiful felt pumpkins. We'll see which ones we wanna put on. Say hi, Zeke. While my hot glue gun is warming up, we are gonna prep the base. Now, one side has the measurements on it and the other side is blank. I like for the blank side to be the bottom. So we're gonna set it down like this. You're gonna need your pipe cleaners. You're gonna need a total of eight for the way that we're gonna do this. So we want it to be nice and full. So we're gonna put two pipe cleaners here. Okay, so we're gonna do a pattern of two, one, two, one, and two, okay? So for this one, you wanna go about three inches in and you are going to do it kind of off to the side, okay, on one edge and then the opposite edge here. All right, just like that. Now, the reason for the hot glue gun is just to make sure it's extra secure, especially if somebody decides to put this on their door or on their wall. We don't want anything sliding anywhere. So once the hot glue gun is all warmed up, we're just gonna put a little dab of glue here. All right, so we have our two. Now we're gonna do one. Try to spray, space them out as evenly as possible. If they're not, it's okay. This wreath is very forgiving, okay? So we've got the two, the one, we're gonna do two, one, and two. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all those pipe cleaners added. Again, we did two here, one, two, one, and two. I'll put it this way so you can see it a little bit better. So see, we have one on either side, center, either side, center. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add just a little bit of hot glue just to secure everything. See, just a little bit here, here, and this will all be covered so you won't even see the hot glue. Here and here, same thing here. Whoop. Here and here. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna get the rest of our stuff prepped. Depending on the design that I do for these swags, sometimes I'll use two different colors of mesh. And when I do that, I'll cut them at either 18 or 20 inches, and then I'll do a second color and cut it at 10 inches and make curls. But for this one, we're gonna do it all in this color since we have so many fun colors in our um, ribbon and I want to keep it to where uh, it's pretty neutral that it'll get you through 
fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving. So we're just going to do this, um, I guess, khaki color deco mesh. And since I'm only doing one color, we're going to cut them a little bit bigger. We're going to cut them at 30 inches. And so since we have eight total um, pipe cleaners, you'll need eight pieces cut at 30 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut. And then the next thing we'll do is prep our ribbon. Now you can do it as you go along, but anybody who's been following me for any time, you know that I like to do all my prep work up first. That way, once I get started on the wreath, I can just go right into it. All right, I'm gonna get these eight pieces cut. I'll be right back. Okay, I have all of those cut, my deco mesh. So now we're gonna cut our ribbon. So again, here are the two, two and a half inch ribbons that I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna cut these at about 12 and a half inches. You really could do 12 inches or you could do 13. Um, I'm gonna do 12 and a half. Uh, I tend to kind of deeply cut my, uh, my dovetail when I do it. So I like to um, just cut a little extra just gives it a little room and it's okay if it's not exact um, you will hear me say this in many of my videos that's one of the things that I love about wreath making um, any little thing it just kind of adds character so I'm gonna get these cut I'm gonna do the same thing to these and then I'll be back Woo! got all my ribbons cut I will say in wreath making that's probably my least favorite thing all right so we have four of each um, cut. Obviously we'll pair up a big and a small um, and that will give us our eight bundles. So the next step is to get our deco mesh on. We are gonna do the woodland ruffle, um, which is a combination of um, a curl and a ruffle. Okay, so here is my 30 inch piece of deco mesh. As you can see, it naturally curls in. So we're gonna use that as the way that we roll it. So you can put something heavy down just to kind of move that. I've got my IU coaster. Um, I am obviously an IU grad and uh, this was made by a local small business here. So I'm gonna use that um, to hold it. To do the woodland ruffle, you're gonna start on one end. You're gonna roll it in about three times. Now I like my curls to be a little bit looser, so I'm gonna just kind of loosely roll it, okay? And then at this point, you can either clip it and turn it around and do the other side, or I like to just go ahead and keep on going. So here in the center, you're gonna take your fingers and you are gonna walk your fingers to the other side. Okay, now you can move this. Now you're gonna do the same thing on this end. You're gonna roll it in about three times, three, and then I continue to walk my fingers over until now I have, kind of looks like a bow tie. We're fancy, we're fancy. All right, so you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it on your base. Doesn't matter which way it goes. I'm gonna start like this, okay. Tighten it down a couple times and voila. All right, let's do that again. About three rolls, walk it over, walk it out, walk, 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 walk. <laughs> and then roll, 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 and then gather. Got our bow tie, okay, and then you're gonna Put it in the next one. I love this. I love how this looks with the curls and oh, the ruffles, so pretty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of these on and then we'll come back and do the next step. How gorgeous this is, oh my gosh. Ah, I love it. I tell you, the Woodland Ruffle is probably my favorite method to do. I do it most on my wreaths and I love it on these swags. All right, so I've got this part all done. This is what the back looks like. 
okay? And it's not going anywhere because remember we glued the other side. Okay, that's the side, that's the top. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna add our ribbon. The ribbon onto your table swag is gonna be the exact same as when you add it to um, your wreath that you make. You're just gonna pair the two together that you want. So I'm putting the black and white polka dot with the um, pumpkins because I felt like that was the cutest. And then you are just going to put them right here. Okay, you wanna give it a couple good tighten downs. You can adjust your ribbons to however you want them. And then this top part, we're just gonna snip off the excess pipe cleaner. All right, so I did that. Cut off the excess pipe cleaner. I just used some little snips. So you're gonna do the same thing. You can do your ribbons in whatever order you want. So I am gonna go ahead and add these ribbons all the way around and then I'll be back. All right, I got all the ribbon on. So this is our swag. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a loop on the back and hang it on your door like that. But again, I am making this as a table swag. So what I'm gonna do, and even if you were doing this as like a door swag, you could still do the same. I'm gonna add some cute little pumpkins. So again, I have these cute little felt foam uh, pumpkins, and we are just gonna glue these on. So I think I'm gonna put this one in the center to just kind of give it a like center focal uh, something, <laughs> if you will. So we're just gonna glue it. Again, I use my Shore Bonder hot glue gun. I'm gonna put it where I want it. And so I'm just gonna put it here in the center and I'm just gonna hold it for a minute, give it a little bit of pressure. So something that I did, remember I showed you that I did black and white polka dot with the pumpkin and then I did orange with the stripes. So just to kind of mix it up a little bit on the two um, just single pipe cleaners, I mixed it up and for this one, I put black and white with the black and white polka dot and the pumpkins with the orange. I'm a rebel. All right, so that should be good. It will get all congealed. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add some of these cute little orange pumpkins. I got these last year, I don't know, I think from like Hobby Lobby or something like that. So I'm just gonna look around and see like where I think it would be the cutest. Finished product. I love it. I'm gonna put this on my website, but I'm gonna secretly wish that I could keep it. <laughs> it's so simple, but festive. Again, it's not just for Halloween. I wanted to make sure that you could use it for fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving. How cute would this be for Thanksgiving on your table? You could even add some little like glass cylinders with some tall candles. Um, the sky's the limit. Let me show it to you. All right, here's the details. I did like a little cluster of pumpkins here. So pretty. As always, thank you so much for crafting with me today and making this beautiful swag. Let me know what you'd like to see me make next or if you have any questions on anything that I did here today or any supplies I used. I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.